please. What are we back in high school? Well, we seem to be, particularly when uh, Johnny Parvis in the room. Living like this, you know what it's going to do to him. Can't you at least talk to Miles? Tell him how you're feeling. Mum, this is the only way that I can do it. There's no future for us, Mum. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd like to know, mate. Can you hear me? Romeo, Romeo, can you hear me? What are you taking, mate? Listen to me. Nothing. Mate, there's no point lying to us, okay? We need to know. No, Someone slipped him something. Party drug, I reckon. Yeah, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Mate, you didn't get it from me. Right, what were you laying on at the party then? I didn't even know there was a party, right? I've been out of town recording. Of course. Oh, Ned. That guy's at the studio with his off his face. What, you think you could have slipped something to Romeo? Must have. Right, we'll work that out later. I'm going to call an ambulance. Hey, whoa, 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 mate. It's a party drug, all right? It's going to wear off. Well, thanks for your expert opinion, mate, but I'm going to hear that from a doctor. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. If you call an ambulance, this is going to get out, all right? The press are going to fry me. Hayden, I'm serious. Look, the cops won't believe that I'm clean. Mate, I could be done for supply. You take him to the hospital, that way we know he's going to be all right. No one gets into trouble. Okay, as soon as Nick gets here, you tell her exactly where I am. In the meantime, do something useful. Call your stupid mate and ask him what Romeo's taken. Give me a hand. Come on, mate, jump up. Come on, let's go. You all right? Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, how was the meeting? Uh, there was no blood on the floor, which is always a good thing. Huh. Is Kirsty still up? I don't know, mate. I just got home myself. Tell you what, that was a hell of a feed she cooked for us tonight. Yeah, it's making a huge difference having your mum around. She's talking more, reaching out more. Good. Well, I'm glad to see you two getting back on track. Yeah, feels good too. Anyway, mate, I have got an appointment with Chips Rafferty. There's a double bill on the box tonight. Well, that sounds very hot. <laughs> see you in the morning. I know. Ghost, you awake? He's very lucky. We'll be giving him diazepam to settle him down and he'll be monitored closely overnight. And that's all that you can do? We just have to wait to the effects of the rape and I'll wear off. Sorry, I've got to run. Thank you for looking after him. Yeah, no worries. Listen, you should probably get home. You've got an exam tomorrow. If someone needs to be here when he wakes up. Yeah, I'll stay. Well, you need to get some rest. What do I say when Miles and Kirsty ask where he is? Just tell them that he stayed at my house. Yeah, Liam did did tell me about what happened. With you wanting to call the ambulance. And I know how it must have sounded. Yeah, like it... the selfish prat that he is, Nick. No, he's not a bad person, Aiden. He's just been burnt before and you know, he called Ned and he found out the drugs that he slipped to Romeo. Can you just please try and understand it from his side? I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Someone in that house drag themselves out of bed in the morning. What's the story with Romeo? Have you seen him? No, why? 
Well, he didn't turn up for his surfing class. I get a phone call at 6am from one of the students asking if it's been cancelled. I had to get down there and teach it myself. He didn't call you? No, it seems he couldn't be bothered to pick up a phone. Well, I'm sure there's a good reason. Yeah, I'm sure he's got a reason. A bad attitude and a poor work ethic. There's two that come to mind. Doesn't sound like the Romeo I know. Well, maybe that's because you haven't had to rely on him as an employee. Either way, he's a good kid. And if he didn't show, I'm sure there's a good reason. Oh, I'm sure he's got a string of excuses. But for his sake, he'd better hope I'm in the mood to listen to him. Oh, Romeo, come in. How are you feeling this morning? Yeah, I'm OK. The doctor said we could release him now, so... Oh, thank God you're OK. Thank you so much for staying with him. Aiden said you got my phone. I need to call work. Oh, yeah, sure. That's good. Hi, Miles. Hey. Hey. Uh, What's going on there? Oh, um, I don't know. You know, you look pretty wrecked. You should probably go upstairs and rest. Uh, I'll get some sleep later. There's something I need to do first. No, I really think no, that you should go... Chill. OK, here we fine. Right, let's get you to exam. We don't want to be late again. <laughs> don't even Come joke on. about it. Good luck today, love. Oh, thanks, Mr. Stewart. See you, mate. Yeah. Huh. What do you reckon? Not a bad morning's work, eh? Wow. Is um, Romeo about? Hey, just that way. Oh, John Palmer wants his bloody reckon he didn't show up for work this morning. Uh, what about Ollie and Kirsty? Did they take off early too? Ah, uh, she's gone. She took Ollie. She left the night. She's not coming back. Well, when did this happen? Last night. When I came home, I went up to the bedroom and found her letter. That's why she made sure I went to that PNC meeting. Why she cooked that dinner. Why she made a big deal when I was heading out. She knew she wasn't going to be here when I got back. So, what are you going to do? Well, right now, I'm going to go back to the school. Good catch. Thanks. Hey, mate. Nick said you are back on your feet. How are you feeling? How do you think? I'm really sorry about what happened last night, OK? Aiden said your friends spiked my drink. Is that true? Ned's an idiot. OK, I knew we'd taken something, but I didn't think he'd share. And when you did work it out, you tried to stop Aiden calling the ambulance for me. Nice work, mate. Oh, I, just, I just told him to wait. Yeah, the doctors made it pretty clear that if we'd waited, I could have been in serious trouble. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mate, I said I'm sorry. Right, but you and Xavier had the party in the first place. So what are you saying? Your friend pushes drugs on me and somehow it's my fault? No, no, no. I think we should talk about this when you've cooled out a little bit, all right? I needed you to be there for me last night. And all you thought about was saving yourself. Well, hello there. Councillor Palmer, always a pleasure. <laughs> I'll just grab some tables. I haven't seen you around much since the election, but I suppose you've been busy taking kickbacks and padding a travel allowance. Of course. <laughs> but I always have time for my constituents. Would you like to join me for a coffee? Oh, I'm here to have lunch with my brother. Oh, well, that's a pity, because I was hoping to discuss your application for funding for the school. Oh, really? Um, OK, just give me a minute. Tony, do you mind if we do this another day? John wants to talk about school funding and I should strike while the iron's hot. No, I bet he does. Oh, well, if you got to go, you got to go. See you later. Patrick Zango. Good, I think. Actually, it went really, really good. Boom. Miracles happen. Oh, thanks. Well, at least Rockstar didn't stuff it up. Do we have to go over this again? It all worked out in the end, OK? Yeah, no, thanks to him. You know, I'm not happy about it either, but it's not easy for Liam, you know? Anything he does is in the public eye. Will you listen to yourself? Romeo's her friend and he was in trouble. Yeah, well, he's Liam's friend too. Yeah, how can you tell? Listen, Nick, ask yourself this question. If Liam's the good bloke that you always say is, then why do you have to keep making excuses for him? Hi. Hey. Hey, is everything all right? You were a bit vague this morning. I'm just a bit tired. How'd your exam go? Good? I think so. I, I went looking for you at school, but you weren't around. 
I came home early for lunch. Listen, did you run me around? No. Why? I just, uh, I need you guys to hang around. I need to talk to you all about something, okay? 